Okay, don't move. Okay, good. Now you can move. <laughs> the first time I saw a picture develop in the darkroom, I was just amazed. Uh, and then the first tintype I ever saw come out in the fixer, it was that same thing again from, from back my first year in college. <laughs> so it was exactly the same. Um, so yeah, it's fun. I like it. I'm sorry. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Vanessa Ford. I'm a tintype photographer and I was recently in Palisade, Colorado, uh, doing a tintype for a young couple and their truck. Tin types were invented by Frederick Scott Archer in 1851. Um, he took collodion, which was invented in 1846 uh, for medical purposes, and used that to um, make a sensitive plate to be able to catch images. They were using the tintype process through the Civil War um, till about the early 1900s. I was working in photo labs when digital started. Um, I avoided going to digital for as long as I could, but then I was able to get jobs doing sport photography and I made money that way. So I did go to digital, but it, it really just uh, kind of killed the magic. The first thing I do is uh, pour the collodion on the plate. I kind of want it to set up like a little gel first. Next, I put the plate in the silver nitrate bath to make it light sensitive. Next, I put the plate in a light tight plate holder. If I'm photographing people, I do a quick uh, check of the focus on the camera and then I load the plate holder. Ready? Nope. Next, I remove the dark slide and the plate is ready for the exposure. I tell everyone to be super still and then I remove the lens cap for the exposure. And then I put the lens cap back on and take it back to the dark box. So with this process, there's so many different variables that come into play that if you're expecting perfect, um, you might have to change what your definition of perfect is. You can't control everything. The light's going to change in that four minutes that it's in the silver bath. You can't use a light meter. It's not like film photography at all. It's just its own cool thing. It's more hands-on even than just film and, and black and white photography and printing. Um, and that's why I like it. That's awesome. It's hard to read on these cloudy days. <laughs> my computer uh, metering system in my brain works better on sunny days. <laughs> but the next one, it's gonna be it. It's the last one. <laughs> Third time's charm. So my favorite tintype so far, um, I did earlier on when I was first starting out, and uh, it's of my wife, Megan, holding a chicken. So she's holding the chicken, and the body of the chicken is still, but the head is moving back and forth. Um, so it looks like the chicken is headless, which is kind of funny because we live in Fruto, which is known for Mike the Headless Chicken. So I like to, to say that it's one of his cousins. Right now I'm heating the plate to burn off any excess moisture that might be on it before I pour the varnish on. Then I pour the varnish on. And the varnish prevents it from 
tarnishing. Since there's real silver in the plate, it will tarnish over time. And you kind of bake the varnish onto the plate. With digital, you always know what you're gonna get. With tintype, you never know what you're gonna get, and that's the magic.